Hey everybody, I was just actually in the middle of uh, putting a set of 2009 to 2014 12th gen F-150 emblems on my, my 11th gen. Uh, this is a 2005 and after I got the passenger side on, I thought, hey, you know what? Other people may want to do this, so let's just make a video to try to simplify it a little bit for them and take some of the guesswork out of it. So here we go. So here's what you start with. This is the uh, standard 04 to 08 F-150 badge and as per the usual, uh, we have literally no black infill to the letters anymore because uh, Ford hates the sun or this emblem hates the sun. And then we're going to be going to this uh, 2009 to 2014 12th gen emblem. So the way that I've actually done this is just taking a standard, you know, razor blade knife, uh, one of the ones you can break the blades off. And I've just started, you know, with the blade side towards the emblem against the side of the emblem and slowly drug it to about right here, just to kind of free it up from the adhesive itself. Uh, after you do that, what I've done, and obviously there's different ways to do this, there's more than one way to skin a cat, is take this uh, you know, standard Bondo kind of putty applicator and just slip it in behind the emblem like so and slowly work the emblem away from the bodywork, right? So just kind of, kind of work it like this. To take all the mystery and guesswork out of it, obviously most people would use Google images to see what kind of holes are there. Uh, this is what you'll end up with. Once you get the original emblem off there, you'll see obviously you have one guide hole, another guide hole for the little dowels on the other, the original emblem to go into and line it up. But you also end up with a hole that's actually right behind here. So what I've done is to get better access to pull the adhesive off of there, uh, break out our trusty, razor blade knife and just kind of you know get you a hole starter there and then once you have that just work the adhesive obviously in an outward fashion whichever way is good for you all right so here's what the majority of people are going to end up with after they get the primary adhesive off obviously we've got one two three uh, mounting holes as we were talking about earlier, but since we're going with a 12th gen emblem We're gonna have to get all of this off of here. Uh, I mean if you were replacing it with a standard 04 to 08 No big deal, whatever uh, What I'm using for this is gonna be automotive goo gone uh, and some 90% Isopropyl alcohol. So this is what you should end up with after the cleaning process happens Obviously, you know, it could probably be better if I had a little bit of polish just to knock down some of the little ridges there however, if you noticed I was using a uh, like a plastic automotive trim removal tool just to kind of work the uh, work the adhesive back it, it did not mar the finish at all on mine so obviously you know <laughs> results may vary uh so this is what you should end up with always remember though after using chemicals like goo gone or something like that before you apply an adhesive piece uh, like these emblems are going to be rinse it down a little bit or just wipe it down with some uh, 90 percent alcohol just 90 percent isopropyl that way you can ensure that any kind of little residue and stuff is off of the surface. Okay, so aesthetically pleasing, yes. Astronomically better? Also, yes. I don't know if I'll have time to do it, but if there's enough daylight out here, I will also slap the tailgate emblem on as well. we just on this adventure together that's not quite what i was expecting but hey you know what sometimes you just go into things blind we'll uh adapt slowly but surely 
it is taking a bit longer than I expected. Without further ado, I bring to you a tailgate emblem. So it obviously took quite a bit longer than I thought it was going to. And by quite a bit longer, I mean like 10 more minutes. Uh, it's not perfect. I did do a little trimming. You got to take the tabs off the back of it to make it work and jive. And also those tailgates have got a little bit of a curvature to them. So it does kind of stick off of the off the tailgate just a little bit, but to be honest, it's negligible. It's no big deal. And for the differentiation upgrade, uh, I mean, I think that it's pretty killer. So uh, eventually when I get a little bit more done to the truck, I do plan on making a video about my overland setup that I'm working on. I just have a few other things to do before I feel comfortable with, you know, putting it out there completely and totally. So obviously as per the usual, I genuinely appreciate you watching. And if it helps, leave me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe, and uh, there's gonna be more to come. Thank you.